Hey, welcome to Garden Hands. I am very excited for today's video. It's a little bit like your birthday or Christmas when it's not your birthday or Christmas. I just received a couple packages for spring bulbs and corms and I wanted to open them, inspect them and see what I ordered. I don't know about you, but when I order them, it's usually in early summer, late spring. And by the time they get here, I've completely forgotten what I had ordered. So a little bit of a surprise in the fall for me. And then by the time they bloom in May or June, I've completely forgotten what I ordered again. Spring is all about renewal and rebirth. And what better way than to kick off spring with a little bit of fresh flowers, new color and the start of the gardening season. Getting these fall bulb orders is always really exciting, but I know there's a lot of hard work that goes into getting them in the ground so that spring does look as beautiful as I, as I had anticipated it. I've gotten a little bit better about planting my bulbs as far as knowing which beds that they're going to be going into and how far 25 or 50 or 100 bulbs will actually get me. There have been many times where I have under ordered and it looks kind of sparse. And then I've had the flip side of things where I over ordered and either ran out of time planting things or I just didn't need as many as I had ordered. So I feel like I'm fine tuning it a little bit, but at the same time, there are new varieties and fun combinations every year that I'm excited to try. So the te temptation for buying new ones is, is real. <laughs> So this year I ordered from two places. I ordered from a local flower farm that's within a half hour of me and I found her on Instagram. I went up to her farm last year because I had ordered some corms and seeds. And this year I just placed the order and had them shipped because I didn't have time to run up there. But I absolutely love the ranunculus that I planted last year from her and they bloomed beautifully. I had great success. I was able to dig them up and use them again a second year. So I placed an order to expand my ranunculus population. Here's the beautiful packaging it comes in. The extra little touches that just seem like I'm opening a gift. This beautiful card with zinnias on it. I believe these are Paula's actual zinnias. And then also a card that talks about how to plant and grow ranunculus and anemones. In here, beautifully packaged, hadn't opened them yet. I have ranunculus amandine porcelain. These are just a really pretty pale pink ivory combination of color. Absolutely beautiful. I would I would buy all amandine porcelain if I could. The second variety is amandine violet and I'm trying to hone in my color palette a little bit and violet is not exactly one of the colors that makes up a lot of my flowers but they were really pretty and I didn't want to pass them up. Then I have Amandine White, and as you can guess by the description, these are beautiful, clear white, just very pristine. They go with everything in the spring, have to have some of those. Then I have Chamallow, like Marshmallow, Marshmallow, Chamallow, I don't know how you say it. These are also very beautiful, light pink, I mean, just a sign of spring, love them. They're really fluffy and ruffly, they kind of look like peonies. Ah, shoot. Try not to drop them. And then uh, Amandine Barbie. Actually, I forgot I had ordered these. Barbie is more of a bright pink. Uh, Barbie ranunculus were the first ranunculus I had ever planted and I love them so much that I was determined to make them succeed. It took a few years for that to happen, but I feel like I'm on the right track. I'm not 100% there yet, but I'm getting closer. The box elder bugs are real this year. I might have probably killed all of my Barbie ranunculus from three, four, five years ago. So I will start over with these and hopefully the new tips and tricks that I've been implementing will keep this, keep the 20 of them that I ordered alive and prospering. My next order are from Color Blends. And if you watched any of the previous years, I order the bulk of my tulips and daffodils, allium and hyacinth and some other things like Spanish bells or crocus from Color Blends. Color Blends is fantastic. They have a wealth of information on their site. The selection of any of those types of flowers is wonderful. You can find pretty much anything you want. Um, they've been very helpful. I've had to contact them several times and extremely helpful and prompt to respond. The quality of the bulbs has been phenomenal every time we've ordered. So they will stay at the top of my list for ordering. And I'm curious, what I ordered because I don't quite remember. Um, Percy, 
excuse you. Percy, what are you doing? Are you eating my pumpkin? I think it might be sprinkling. Maybe that was not a box elder bug that was getting me. I think it might be sprinkling. All right, so let's do this quickly here. Ah, uh, yes. All right, so I got a packing list. What's in there, bud? The other really nice thing about color blends is they pack them in these mesh bags, which are reusable, and they have tags on them that aren't paper. They're like a wax paper. So in the rain or slobber, it's your label is gonna stay on there. Um, we have planting guides. This is just a little thank you postcard. And there's the planting guide. All right, so I'm going to close this back up because it is sprinkling now. And then in my other package, I have a crate here. So with some of the orders, they will put them in these plastic crates, which is really nice because I've been using these for harvesting or growing certain flowers. Here's my two, my two buddies here. So I'm really glad that I could get another crate this year. I think I will plan to grow some ranunculus in the crates. <laughs> I don't think he realizes that he's bigger than her. And she tolerates him for a while. <laughs> he just wants to play. We've been at this property for a few years now and every year I try to put in some bulbs um, so eventually at some point I can start reducing the size of my orders and while I absolutely love tulips I've started to put daffodils in more locations just so they will naturalize and I don't have to do quite as much work every year but as much as I want to plant just daffodils I can't get away from the bright pinks and purples yeah I just can't get away from some of the colors that the tulips offer so they will always be on my list but I'm reducing the number that I plant every year. One of the features about the Color Blends website that I really appreciate is that I can search around for the bulbs that I'm looking for, click on save or add them to a wish list. I'm not quite sure which it is, but I can make notes on that particular selection. So for example, if I was looking at the pink cube tulips and I click put them on my wish list, I can create different wish lists. So I do one for each year. And I could put a little notation that I wanted to plant these along the front sidewalk. And that really just helps me when the bulbs come so that I know I have a plan for where they're supposed to go and I'm not making that decision in the fall when I may not remember exactly how things looked in the spring. So it's a nice planning tool in the spring when I'm walking around and I see what I need or where there's a gap or an opportunity and I can label where it should go. That way there's nothing in my cart that doesn't have a home when I place the order. On my list for 2023, I usually try to replenish or top off the beds along my sidewalk and I stick in the pink color family. Um, it's just a really bright, vibrant color, not only because it's spring and I want some fresh color that early in the year, but you can see it from further away. So it really makes an impact. So I ordered pink, the pink cube tulip variety this is a really great blend because it offers you three different tulips that bloom from like early in the tulip season to late in the tulip season. So you have a little bit lighter pink, some might have a little bit more of a yellow tint to them. I also am planting out here a double variety called Averon. This is a really pretty, it's double, it almost looks like a peony. It's a late bloomer in the tulip season, but it's just a nice, really rich pink double tulip. The other tulips that I'm planting in the sidewalk are from the Smooch blend. And I believe there are two, it's a lighter pink and a darker pink. To be honest, I probably couldn't pick them out in my sidewalk because I have a bunch of different varieties, but they're a reliable bloomer. Um, there's always lighter pinks and kind of just a nice solid Barbie pink. And perhaps that's part of this variety. I'm not really sure. I'm probably not doing them justice by saying I just throw a bunch in this bed, but Every year it looks really nice and I just need to top it off because tulips, while they may come back, they come back weaker every year, if that makes sense. 
So if I plant 100 bulbs, you know, all 100 will come up in 2024. 90 may come up the next year, maybe 75 the year after that, maybe 60 or 50 percent the year after that. So they definitely don't naturalize like daffodils do. But if you top them off or just add a few every year, you should still have the very pretty show of color. The last bulb that I'm putting in along the sidewalks is a hyacinth. All right, apparently it's just gonna keep raining and I need to get this video done and out. So hyacinth for the front sidewalk. I went with fondant, which is a really lovely little pink hyacinth, shorter, probably put it in the front of the bed. Um, I think they naturalize a little bit. I am not as familiar with hyacinth other than I know they smell wonderful. One of the areas that I have yet to plant daffodils is along my driveway, along each side of my driveway where there's a culvert. I have kind of a flower bed carved out because it's hard to mow around those. And I've decided to put daffodils in these culverts. So there's a little bit of spring color as you're driving down the road in the spring. We have daffodils along the woods. This was just a new flower bed that needed a little touch of spring colors. So I have picked out three daffodils and I'm just gonna split the order and mix and match and hopefully, hopefully they naturalize. I'm not planting a ton in each of the culvert beds, but I'm just hoping in five years they'll look slightly more full. One of the varieties is called Sherborne. So it's a yellow tulip, but the inner ruffles or ribbons are more of a soft orange. Really pretty, very striking. The other one I have that kind of looks similar is called Tahiti. I have Tahiti in one of my other beds, but I really like it. It's just very striking, very unique looking. Yeah, I think it'll be really lovely in here. And if it can naturalize enough, then maybe I can divide it and plant it in other areas of the yard as well. And then the last variety that I'm planting in the culvert beds is called Lucky Number. And to me, I'm sure it's a very lovely daffodil but it looks more like the typical daffodil you think of when somebody says daffodil. It's yellow with a yellow cup. I think it's gonna be lovely and I'm excited to see what it looks like. Another area where I'm hoping to plant some daffodils is over by the kids' swing set. And truth be told, the swing set probably has its days numbered because the kids don't really play on it very much, but I continue to put flowers over there and someday that may turn into something else, but we shall see. For now, we can at least put some color over there and and enjoy looking at it all season long. The variety I'm putting over here is called Queen's Day, and this is a very pretty yellow double tulip, and very excited, very excited to see this one. Uh, another area of the yard are what I'm calling the front beds, and I don't think that I have done videos on making these beds yet. So by the time I show you what these bulbs look like in the beds, it will be the third year that I've had the flower beds. Um, there are two large flower beds in the front yard where I have been focused on planting trees and shrubs and perennials and just a few bulbs. I have some tulips out there and I have daffodils out there, I think. Or maybe this is the first daffodils I'll put out there. I'm not quite sure. But what I'm putting in those beds are the Sea View Plat blend of tulips and this is a really pretty group of tulips. I can't remember if there's three types of tulips or more. There's one that's a real pinkish purple color. There's one that they describe as mauve. And then there's one that's purple and has white on the outsides of the petals. It's really pretty. And then uh, I am planting Bella Estrella daffodils out there. These are dainty little white daffodils with yellow centers. I just absolutely love these. They're very cute. Probably will have wished that I would have ordered more of these, but I'm hoping that they will, wow. I'm hoping that they will really multiply quickly. With fall, I really struggle. I enjoy summer so much when I can be outside until nine o'clock. And now that it's getting dark by, I don't know, 6.15 or something like that, I really struggle with this. I get done with work, you know, there's been kid activities up until recently, we finally finished sports for the kids, but with running, dropping the kids off, doing things, and if there's not errands to run, there's some other things to do, and there has been no time to just putter around outside. So fall is a hard season for me because it's still kind of nice out, but the days are so short that I just can't get outside. 
and winter, I just know I'm not going to get outside and do any gardening work. So I already know that. But anyway, sorry, small tangent. The other thing that I'm going to put in the front beds are some Purple Sensation Allium. And Allium is, they're not cheap. They're expensive little bulb, but they are absolutely stunning. This is the tall green stem and then a globe at the top that's just purple and it blooms for a really long time. It's amazing in cut flower arrangements. It looks really cool out in the garden and I've been trying to add a few every year. In the backyard, I have kind of a moon garden, kind of, not really, it's got purple in it too, but I don't wanna call it the septic garden anymore. But it's basically in the spring, just white bulbs. So I have white cubed tulips already in there, I have white hyacinth in there. I think I have white daffodil in there too but I am going to supplement this year by adding some more white cube tulips. So again, it's a blend of three tulips and you know they bloom from early mid to mid or late. The one thing I learned about these tulips is that they actually start out kind of a creamy yellow or almost a butter yellow and they'll fade to white. So when I was going for a white flower bed and they all bloomed yellow, I was a wee bit disappointed, but I got over it and as they matured, they did turn white. And you know, now that I know that, I can be patient for a week and wait them out. And then I'm gonna add the Carnegie Hyacinth, which is a white hyacinth. Again, beautiful, smells incredible. In the memory garden, so I've showed you several videos about establishing that and doing garden tours of that. I already have the Casada Daffodil in there, but I'm just gonna add 25 more. Casada is a beautiful, I think it's called a Corona Split daffodil. It has the lighter outer petals and then the inner trumpet is actually, what do you call it, like reflex where it's open. So, and it's a darker yellow. It's, it's pretty cool. It doesn't really look like a daffodil, but absolutely love it. And then I believe the last area that I'm planting spring bulbs will be under the deck. And this is an area that, again, I worked on this year and you haven't seen videos of it, but I am planting more Akibono. Akibono? I'm not saying that right. This surprised me. This tulip is a light to medium yellow color and it has a outlining in red all around each of the petals and then kind of in the center of the petals on the outside, it might have some green streaking. It's really pretty. I'm not a huge yellow tulip person, but this one, it's caught my eye. So I have 25, I think, already out there. I want to add another 25, or how many did I order? I ordered 25 more. So I want to add another 25 to the other edge of the deck, just so it's a little bit more balanced. And I look forward to these. Last year, I think I picked a bouquet just for myself because they got a little out of hand and blown out, but they were really pretty in the house in a huge arrangement for a few days. And then the other thing I'm putting under the deck are the frosty snow daffodils. And I think if I remember correctly, these are very sweet looking little daffodils that are white. And then the inner trumpet is yellow and it fades as it ages so that just the very edge is yellow by the end. So it's all white with just a little faint yellow at the very end. I'm excited to get these in the ground and even more excited for six or seven months from now when they will be blooming. Let us know in the comments below if you have any spring bulbs that are your favorites. I absolutely love looking at bulb catalogs and finding new varieties and oogling over all the pretty tulips that are out there. So curious to see what are some of your favorites and what does well for you. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. Bye.